What's up guys, Slimmerskulls54 here, and today we're back on some GTA, and this is, as you can tell, a speculation price for the casino update that Rockstar has announced to be coming later this summer. So, uh, this is all speculation, I just want to make that 100% clear right now. Um, nothing has been confirmed by Rockstar at all, this is just me and die thinking we were talking and kind of figuring out how much is this gonna cost for this group of things how much is this gonna cost for this group of things so it is a lot um, trust me so and uh, shit I had it up and um so let's see here uh thirty uh Forty-three and eight. Cool. So forty-three and eight. Um, let's do some quick math here. Forty-three and eight is about fifty-one million dollars in total you might need for this update. So how are we gonna split that? So that's what I'm about to tell you. Now we're thinking it's Rockstar, okay? So, their prices for stuff aren't exactly user-friendly. Um, so, we went past it there. Oh, shit. You know what? Um, Dai, can you stop the car? I gotta do a biker defend. Can you get your own car? <laughs> Son of a bitch. Get out. Alright. Um... So, the main idea of this update is the casino opening, okay? Um, so, clearly, is the casino going to open and is it going to cost money to own it? Probably. Um, is it going to be cheap? Probably not. Um, so, I'm thinking that the casino... My oh fuck. Um, the casino is going to cost between 5 million and 10 million dollars in total. So there's gonna be, like, um... What is there gonna be? There would be um so you gotta pay for like yeah, but isn't my I'm creepy thinking silent friend. probably it's gonna be like <laughs> can't the, handle the heat my friend okay. oh my god creepy I can't do this. <laughs> see I don't edit my videos so this is the only way I can do this um so the casino itself um. Clearly, I don't know if you're... I'm thinking you might be able to buy it, but it also makes me wonder, are they going to add different casinos? Because in every other DLC, bikers, CEO, or the, you know, the CEO office, um, facility, bunkers, speaking of bunker, um, there's always more than one. So my question is though, is that there's only one casino, so where, you know, where are all these other things going to be? Um, so there's also, if you guys haven't noticed, there's been construction going on at the casino. 
And there's also been construction work going on in a building in downtown Los Santos, which I'll show it later in the video. So, um, my speculation with this video as to when it's going to be coming out, um, it says here there is a, uh, Rockstar Newswire and they say that it's being released later this summer I believe um stay tuned coming soon I thought it said something about summer yes well open at stores later this summer so more than likely this update will be coming out in late August or early September I'm going to say just around it about there um so as for the content of the update what do I think they might add so I'm thinking that there will be just one second. So forty three plus eight plus twenty five So um there's a bunch of different categories that Rockstar does every time, kind of like clothing and this, that, the other thing, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, they're not cheap. So, you know. So I'm thinking, so the update releasing in opening later this summer, I'm going to say in, it would be next month, August, very latest, September. So those are your months to focus on. Do I think it's going to come out this month? No. It's beginning of summer. It says later this summer. It's not this one. They usually like to hype it up with videos and everything. And there really hasn't been... There's usually at least a trailer. That's like teasing all the new stuff that's coming. And they haven't even done that yet. So it's not coming anytime soon. You can pretty much guarantee that. Once they release the video though, usually the updates come out between two to three weeks after that initial video. So you can expect it probably two to three weeks after whenever it comes out. So keep your eye on that, um, and then once we see it, then we'll know when for sure it's pretty much going to come out. So, the casino itself. If you can buy it, or if you have to buy it, how much do I think it's going to cost? I'm thinking between 5 to $10 million. As you can see, we're pulling up on it here. It's a big building. It's not small, clearly. So, you know. And also, if you guys haven't noticed, there's now construction going on in front of the casino. So clearly you can tell that they're adding something. So, you know, you got all this stuff here. So it's like, it's obvious that now it's official. So the casino, how much can you expect that to be? Probably between five to 10 million, if not more. So there's a good angle of it there. Um, vehicle wise when they add new vehicles um i'm thinking at the very least there's going to be um probably at least 20 new vehicles i think they're going to be extremely high end and i think that they are going to have um like expensive modifications they're going to be high-end vehicles like maybe a new lamborghini maybe a different bugatti 
you know, they're going to be high-end vehicles, so I highly doubt they're going to add, you know, a Mini Cooper or a smart car, you know. So I highly doubt that's going to happen. So more than likely, the vehicles are going to be expensive. I'm thinking there's going to be in the range of maybe 10, 15, or 20 new vehicles that will add up to a total cost of $30 million. Uh, customizations for that are included in that price of my guesstimate. Um, so, you know, that might be a little high, but it's Rockstar and they like to jack the prices up on stuff, so what do you expect? Um, I think there's going to be a few new weapons added, and for some reason I feel like there's going to be a Mafia end to this for some reason. Um, so I'm thinking about $500,000 for weapons is reasonable. Now, this place right here, in Alta. So, if you guys haven't noticed, they've also been working on this as well. So as you can see, they have windows in. They're starting to put windows. So, I don't know if they're going to add... Like, put in new stuff here. I don't. I, well, okay. Clearly, they're putting in new stuff. Um, I just don't know exactly quite what it's going to be used for. My thought is, I don't know if this is going to be like another casino, or if it's going to be new, like apartments. I don't know. Who knows? So, like, in all honesty with Rockstar, really, who knows? Um, it's all complete speculation right now, but they're definitely doing something to this building. For sure. Um, next on the list, weapons. Okay, I think they are going to add a few weapons. I don't know to the extent of what they would add, honestly. Um... But I'm thinking it would be around $500,000 to get all the weapons and customize them and put the attachments on them. So I'm thinking about $100,000 a weapon. So maybe about five new weapons, give or take. Um, okay, next thing, clothing. Okay, they always add clothing for guy and girl characters. And especially this is a casino update, they're probably going to do like a second high life update. Um, so, I think, no, this would be technically part 3. Because I think this high life one was the one that they did part 1 and 2 of. I think, don't quote me. Um, so, I'm thinking for the clothing, it's going to be at least between a million dollars and 2.5 million dollars. Is that pricey? Yes, but everything has to be taken into consideration to the fact that this is Rockstar we're talking about. Um, what type of clothing? I would think maybe like royal, like kind of silk clothing and robes and, you know, stuff like that. Just like, and like really high, like maybe uh, high value like silk suits or something like that. Um, so that could be one. Um, but yeah, so I'm thinking between a max, well, between one million and two point five million dollars for the outfits. Um, I think they might add mansions. It's a big speculation, but this would be a good time to do it. Um,. I really hope they do. I've been hearing rumors since the game came out that Mansions was going to be added. So, yeah. Um, I'm thinking the maximum, and honestly now that I look at what I put, I'm thinking of raising the bar with this a little. I said 5 million, but I'm thinking 10. Um, just because of the fact that it's a mansion. And especially if we get to kind of customize the inside of it, 
I could see it being 10. Um, I also think that we will get new hairstyles, um, new tattoos, and also new modifications, I'm hoping. So what I mean by that is on our vehicles, maybe we'd be able to get more modifications more or spiritual. something. We're here to you know, help. Like, um, I think we can do that. I don't know, like a certain attachment per se on a vehicle, like, you know, maybe a different bumpers, you know, something like that. I feel like this would be a good time for them to add that. And I'm also thinking that this update is probably going to be like bikers and CEO. So it'll be like, you know, it'll probably go under bikers or CEO or whatever. And then when you launch it, um, it'll kind of be like the facility where it doesn't matter which one you have. If you have the casino and then you can do jobs and missions. Um, I don't know if they like are going to add like a diamond heist that could be a possibility too the payout that i would think would be for that would probably be about one to two million dollars for a heist in total um and then what else would be i'm just trying to think i can't really think of anything else that might be added besides everything that I've mentioned. So, in total, and this has probably gone up by about, let's just, we'll just round it up from uh, that to another 10 mil. So, I'll probably say for this update, at the very minimum that you would want, if you would want everything in this update, would probably be at least 60 million dollars Now this does not technically include drip feed content which Rockstar loves to do a lot um, But You know Who knows right so I've fired you guys with uh, the act 2 glitch that still works believe it or not um, and get making money with a friend or something. Get the Doomsday Heist out of the way. And then do Act 2. That's what I do to get all this money. So, yeah, like I said, it's probably going to be upwards of $50 million or $60 million to buy everything. If you're one of the people like me who want to buy everything, be like, yay, I have something you don't, whatever. I'm not that many. I like to do it to show it to my friends essentially to be like you know if they're thinking hmm, do I really want to spend 10 million dollars they can be like oh he has it let's go ask him if I can see it whatever I don't care so you guys of course when the casino update is released whenever that is you guys will see a shopping spree video at the moment I don't know how much it would be for Right now, I can guarantee that it would probably be 70 million, but I'd like to get back up to 100 again. So, uh, hopefully it should be able to get to that, though. Uh, otherwise, guys, let me know what you think. How much do you think this, um, casino update, or whatever, High Life Part 2 up to 3, Part 4, 5, I don't know. I don't know what we're at anymore. I don't know numbers anymore, apparently. So... Um, let me know in the comments, um, or message me on Xbox, uh, and let me know what do you guys want to see, er, I'm thinking of something else, um, how much do you guys think that this update will cost in total? So, uh, let me know in the comments, and I'll see, and, uh, we'll see how right we are. Anyway guys, that's all for this video. Don't forget to like the video if you did enjoy. Also comment to let me know if there's anything you'd like to have seen on my channel. Otherwise guys, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.